Hi, Sam. Hello. Ready to get drilled? You don't know how to use that thing, do you? No. It um, took me five minutes just to figure out that there's a battery on the bottom. <laughs> so one of the reasons why we have the space is for that right there, which we'll tell you about a little bit later. Yeah, I'm just a side character. I don't, I'm an NPC, you know, so I just follow along. <laughs> What's an NPC? It's like a character that just kind of like in the background and he just says like, like yeah, he, he just like, says You know when you play a video game and you go to a character and you press A and they have like a text bubble and it's yeah. always the same text bubble? That's you. Yeah, I'm basically yeah, the NPC. Like, <laughs> and I'm like the Luigi. I'm player two that nobody really likes to use. And I'm like old washed up Mario. Now you're an actual plumber? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually I am very interested in plumbing right now. Like it's really cool. <laughs> hey, you guys want to see me do a wheelie? All right, enough b buffoonery. We need to start working. <laughs> How excited are you for the flooring to come in tomorrow? I'm so excited. Oh my God. Flooring is just like this thing that I've taken for granted my entire life. And now it's like, oh my God, we're going to have a real floor. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm excited to see what it looks like because you have to choose from like these little samples. Oh, it's going to look so. awesome. And you figure out which paint you're going to use for the interior. Yeah. Here, he's got a nice wide selection of paint <laughs> colors to choose from. Here are the options, ready? Like white. Slightly different white. Can you even see it on the camera? See, there's three splotches. You can kind of see it. This one, this one, and this one. And Carrie's like sitting here staring at him going like, which one so, do we get? So we're stuck between these two. <laughs> this one, this one is called Distant Gray. And it actually has a, like a slight gray tinge to it. So it's a, it's a cooler white. And then this one, they're both Benjamin Moore, by the way. And this one is Chantilly lace, which is basically like their whitest white. It's very popular. So tell us which one. Can you get, you can't do polls anymore, huh? No. That is one thing I'm really sad they got rid of. You used to be able to just go, hey, let me know in the poll, right? There. Like we can't do that anymore. We they took help. away that feature. I'm pretty sure we're going with Chantilly lace, but I still want to know what everybody else thinks. Okay, it's just the the white one. Is what yeah. we're going with. And these are lights by Lumery, Lumery or something like that, but they're RGB. Oh my God, Carrie's about to get really upset because she asked me like a million times, like, what kind of lighting do you want? And I was like, I don't care. Whatever comes here faster. But then they got here and the CRI is really low. Like you kind of tell that it's green, but it's RGB. It's fine. But the part that bugs me, oh my God, Carrie's no, giving me the death look right we now. We agreed that you weren't going to bring up the lighting around me. <laughs> there are lights that go 90 CRI, but they would have taken longer to get here. And we just needed to get the ceiling well, done. So it's taken three more days, but you were so freaking impatient. You were like, no, they need to be here now. For <laughs> the fine. sake of our relationship, please do not bring I'm up sorry. CRI in these lights ever again. Yes. Oh, look at what we have here. Some more filming. How much you want to bet that it's like a crime scene? They got a frame right here also. You think they're going to set up lights on that or uh, a cell? No, I think it's definitely a cell. But, look, but it's like daytime though. Why would they need a light? I think they're gonna rig up an HMI or something. They're throwing duvetine up there on the thing, so they must be filming a night scene. But see, they found some like old crummy looking saloon place. That's where the drug deals happen. Exactly. I'm telling you, this is where they come to film all the crime scenes, because it, it actually does look the part. It's actually not that dangerous here, at least not anymore. So you think it's a silk that they're setting up? Well, yeah, because it's daytime still. It's, yeah. it's early in the morning. They're setting up speed rail though. I feel like they're gonna mount some HMIs on this. We'll have to come back and check. Is that part of the rigging? No, they're just doing construction there. Hey, what kind of pants are those? Tactical pants. You like that kick I did? <laughs> Tactical kick. That's what SWAT members do, right? Yeah. That actually probably would be a pretty effective kick. I was like, duh. Hey Dylan, how's your, oh, look over there, pow. Oh yeah, I found out what they're doing with the grid. They put a whole line of quasars on it. That's kind of cool. nerd, no one cares. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Look how many quasars are on this thing. These are all, what, six footers? And then they just take it throw it up and put a skirt around it to prevent the spill. And then they're gonna boom these up and I think they're gonna have cars driving under it because they've got three of these. So they're probably gonna go boom, boom, boom and have a car drive under it. That's pretty cool. That probably puts out so much light. And it's probably crazy soft too. What are you about to do, Sam? I am gonna go get a massage by a very energetic 
Jesus looking guy. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. He was all talking about energies and stuff on the phone. I'm like, that's exactly who I want. How about you, Dylan? What's good with you? I am going to try to play a video game when I go home. Really? Oh, we won't. Video games. I actually never get around to it. Dylan, <laughs> oh, yeah. riddle me this. What? If there's two guys playing chess, one of them can predict the future and the other can read minds, who will win? The one that predicts the future. Because he already knows what to do against someone who's reading minds because he already knew he was going to meet someone that's meeting a mind. Is that the right answer? I don't know, dude. That's a good one, actually. Comment down below. Despite the setbacks, I bet the house will be finished before Jean's facial hair comes through properly. Yeah, that, that'll never happen. Uh, my facial hair? Uh -uh. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. Yeah. This is three months without shaving. I bet you would actually grow a pretty mean beard. You know, it's like I can kind of get like to a certain point, but it, I don't think it fills in very well. Then but I can get like it, a You shadow. have to let it grow more. And then, then it, it gets so in. itchy and it pisses me off. And I just can't <laughs> deal with it. My dad's got a pretty serious stash. Yeah. My dad too. Mine too. <laughs> Everyone's dad can do it and we all just can't. Yeah. When Jean can't take shoes off in the house, Japanese intensifies. I feel the pain. Yeah, no, I love taking off my shoes. I just, I, I don't know. Like my feet feel suffocated all the time when I'm wearing shoes. Like, like right people, now, I wish I could take it off. People are like, free the nipple, you're free the feet. Yeah. <laughs> you never realize how much crap you have until you have to move. Yeah. For sure. It's just like, it just keeps coming out. It's like, how many boxes are there of stuff? You know, it's like, oh. Although ever since I moved in with Crystal, I realized like, oh, most of it is her stuff. I have like a box worth of stuff. Anyone else want Gene to be their commentary to their life? Like that Family Guy video where Peter gets his own voiceover and theme song? I'd sign up for that. I think Dylan would actually yeah, be like I was the voiceover say, guy. If there was two people that could narrate my life, would it either be Dylan or Christopher Walken? I'm like, that's for a walk-in level? Okay. Dude, yeah. I'm tired with that. Dylan, you should narrate Sam's life. Do it. Sam's life. Ready? And... They say that life brings you to an edge. And even though Sam has experienced that edge, he is also has the foreknowledge to know what it takes to get through obstacles. That is why he stares off into the horizon, looking at that place where the sky meets the ocean and all that blend into blue until it fades to black and the... He rises like the phoenix, like the moon does in the middle of the night, casting a shadow over everything else that is made him feel like he was inferior until one day that moon becomes a sun and he lights up everyone's world. I don't know how you do that with words, man. That sounded epic. I, I don't even really know what you said, but it sounded super epic. <laughs> yeah, I was actually kind of worried. I didn't know where I was going for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, I should probably wrap up this vlog. Uh, it's been hard to vlog with all the stuff going on with the house. It's a lot. It really is like a lot to like do with the flooring and all the different things. I've been having to do more laundry than usual because every time I go to his house and I go back home, I'm kicked in all kinds of Dust. weird stains. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's impossible to stay clean in that look, house. Look at this shirt. It used to be white, now it's all like speckled in tomato juice. Dude, but after the flooring has started getting put in, it's so much more pleasant. It's actually tolerable to be in that Your house. guys' energy is more calm as if like before it used to be like both of you were on edge and very stressed out now it's like no our feet could touch the floor oh my god just be able to walk around barefoot my life is a thousand times better it's just like things are finally coming together but i'm telling you like just the f not having a flooring don't recommend that if you're gonna move into a place just at least have your ceiling and floors done like the walls and stuff that can all wait and the windows and all the other crap that we want to do all that stuff's fine but you want nice ceiling and nice floor before you move in. That's one thing I definitely learned. <laughs> I think we're finally over the hump of just like the insanity. Cause I know where things is. I know where the dental floss is. If I'm looking for that, I know where the Q-tips are. If I need that, if I need shorts, I know where that is. Like I know where oh, things yeah, are. Yeah, you didn't have clothes for a while. Dude, for the longest time <laughs> I couldn't find anything. But now having like half the house floored, I feel like we're over that hurdle of just like, ah! So I, I think I could get back on track and we're kind of figuring out our flow, getting settled into this new area. But anyways, we should probably wrap this up and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Okay, bye. Wait.